Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Imbran Air EMB120 Brasilia is a twin turboprop 30 passenger commuter airliner designed and manufactured by the Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Imbro Air. Following on from the success of the EMB110 Bandia Ante, Imbra Air commenced work on developing their first transport category airliner in 1974. At one point this accumulated in the family 12X, which comprised three models with modular concept designs, EMB120 Araguaia, EMB123 Tapayos and EMB121 Zingu. The original concept for the EMB120 would have been a relatively straightforward stretch of the EMB121, facilitating a high degree of commonality between the two types. However, the EMB121 would be the sole 12X model that was actually produced in its original form. The AMB120 would be redesigned during 1979 disposing of the Araguaia name at the same time. At the official launching of the project held in 1979 the name Brasilia was first applied to the EMB120. Reportedly the concept had been heavily revised on the basis of suggestions that had been gathered from prospective operators attending the Commuter Airline Association of America convention and the renaming was to reflect the level of alteration to the EMB-120, being a completely new aircraft. It was no longer related to the 12X family and had effectively no parts in common with the EMB-121 Zingu, furthermore the capacity was revised downwards from 24 to 30 seats. It had originally been designed to be powered by a pair of Pratt & Whitney Canada PW115 turboprop engines, which was capable of 1,500 horsepower. The aircraft was subsequently redesigned to make use of more powerful PW118 engines, which produced up to 1,892 horsepower. In terms of its basic configuration, the EMB120 features a circular cross-section fuselage, low-mounted straight wings and has a T-tail. The fuselage is of semi-monocoque design its skin being composed of an aluminium alloy. The wing structure comprises a single three-spar design that is linked to the frames of the lower side of the fuselage while the nose cone dorsal fin and leading edges of the wing and tail plane primarily comprise a Kevlar reinforced glass fiber. The AMB120 is equipped with retractable tricycle landing gear which is actuated hydraulically. It is fitted with good rich supplied wheels oleo-pneumatic shock absorbers, a hydro-air anti-skid system, and either carbon or steel brakes. On the 27th of July 1983 the PW115 powered EMB120 prototype performed its maiden flight. The type was able to rapidly attract interest from numerous regional airlines, particularly those based in the United States. Its size, speed and ceiling enable faster and more direct services to be flown around the US and Europe in comparison to similar aircraft. During October 1985 the first aircraft entered service with Atlantic Southeast Airlines. Numerous models would be developed to suit different operational circumstances. The AMB 120RT featured a reduced takeoff weight while the EMB 120 cargo freighter had an elevated payload capacity of 4,000 kg. The AMB 120 Combi and EMB 120 convertible emphasized flexible operations. During 1993 the first deliveries of the EMB 120ER an extended range model took place it was thereafter adopted as the standard production model. Furthermore hot and high versions of these models were commonly equipped with PW118A engines that retain their power ratings at a higher altitude. The AMB120ER advanced incorporates a range of external and interior improvements in comparison to most other models. The AMB120RT could be upgraded to the EMB120ER. Older aircraft were retrofitted to this standard by way of a service bulletin. During 2001, 
production of the EMB-120 was terminated. As of 2021, Embraer has not manufactured a turboprop-powered successor although company executives have occasionally hinted at the being interest in doing so at some point. The majority of the EMB-120s were sold in the United States and other countries across the Western Hemisphere. U.S. airlines operating the type have included Great Lakes Airlines which had six EMB-120s in its fleet, while Amory Flight was flying 10 freighter-configured EMB-120s as late as 2022. Several European airlines such as regional in France Atlant Soyuz Airlines in Russia, DAT in Belgium and DLT in Germany, also purchased EMB-120s. The AMB-120 has also proven itself to be popular amongst African operators. One of the biggest operators in the region was the charter operator Sahara African Aviation which had flown as many as nine EMB-120ERs. Into the 2020s, numerous airlines have opted to retain a handful of examples in their active fleet. It has been commonly contrasted against the ubiquitous Douglas DC-3 often being used as a more modern substitute for the aging classic and possessing roughly double the speed. Several military operators also procured the type such as the Angolan Air Force which received new build aircraft during 2007. A specialized VIP transport version the VC-97 was produced and procured by the Brazilian Air Force. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and until next time.